We are finding that when we began um, in the environmental field, we had thought that we had a practice of environment or sustainability that would somehow evolve to suit the needs of a country like India. Uh, but it hasn't. And today we are dealing with a huge challenge where we are more and more aware about sustainability. I keep saying, I don't meet anybody, including the world's biggest polluter, who doesn't say they're an environmentalist. <laughs> so we've definitely crossed that um, um, uh, curve. But the problem is that our rivers are even more contaminated, our air is even more foul, our cities are full of garbage. We don't know what a smart city should even look like, other than the fact that it will be wirelessly connected. Um, and uh, in rural areas, agrarian distress is increasing, both because of the extreme weather events that you're beginning to see, and the complete mess up that we have in the way that we've even done agriculture up till now. So we are now also finding that with climate change, we don't have a moment to breathe. Uh, we don't have a chance to say we'll get it right tomorrow. Because with the kind of weather changes and the extreme weather changes that you're beginning to see, you're seeing this double whammy, whether it is in Chennai floods or whether it is in Maratwada where farmers are reeling under one drought after another and more extreme weather events which are making every crop the most risky business to be in. And at this time, we are really finding, and I think that's why the hub is so needed, we're really finding that we don't know what sustainability practice has to be in a country like India. We have a huge challenge of poverty. We have a huge challenge of unmet needs. We need more and more energy. We need more and more water. We need more development at the one hand. On the other hand, Everything that we know of sustainability means more and more unaffordable growth. Unaffordable technologies to deal and mitigate the impacts of growth and unaffordable approaches that cannot meet the needs of all. So in some senses, the environmental debate itself in India needs a very deep rethinking about what will be the approaches that will work for a country like India where affordability and inclusiveness is, is the hallmark of sustainability. <clears throat> if you do not have equitable growth, you cannot have sustainable growth. But that's not the practice that has emerged in the rich parts of the world, which is why we have climate change. So we need that rethink. We need to look much beyond the city and to understand what is happening in India, we need to make the linkages, and we need to do that all with policy in sight. So the continuum that we believe in very strongly at CSC, which is an information, knowledge, action, information, knowledge, action continuum, is really what I hope that you will do more of, because it's something that we desperately need more of in India. We need knowledge to, to push policy, to push action, but then as you push action, you know you need more knowledge. And that's really the continuum that we have. So I think wonderful that you're doing this. And as I said, I'm here to cheer you on. Thank you. Thank you.